to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Bailey, and today I am here with a special guest. Her name is Poppy, and she has her own channel. We have been friends since high school, since freshman year, uh, and now we are seniors in college. So today we finally, I know, we finally collab together, which we have been talking about for the longest time now, and we just did a get ready with me. We also filmed a video on her channel. So make sure to go check it out. I'll have everything linked down below, all of her social medias as well as her YouTube channel. So make sure you go ahead and subscribe to her. If you're not subscribed already, make sure you do so down below. Click on that bell notification to be notified every time that I post, as well as looking at my links in the description bar to follow me on all of my social medias. And let's get right into it. Bye, guys. <laughs> I'm waiting on the bell. So like what we've been doing. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm so red right now. Oh. I'm running around. But, oh, I, just try that thing. Yeah. I actually did my brows last night for the first time in like over a year. Nice. And like they look so thin now. But I like have to use very little of this stuff. Like, I have so, like my skin is really, really oily. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, I like that so though because it like already leaves your skin tacky. Yeah. So that's why I like using it during the day, especially when I'm wearing makeup, mm -hmm. because like it's already kind of like a primer. But cause like, have you seen like people use like the men's like Nivea balm, like it's like post shave balm. Yes. As like primer. Well, I guess like that. Um, like clogs your pores. But it's. <laughs> but like I don't understand how like it clogs your pores if it's like made for like men for shaving and like you shave right. your face so like but so like I didn't want to get that but I've seen people use that and that's like basically a lotion but I like how the pond one well even like the equate one does too yeah it like leaves it tacky so it kind of works as like a primer yeah so okay I don't know if this is gonna work but I watched a video today, and I can't remember the girl's name, but she said she has, like, really oily skin, and, like, mm -hmm. her, no matter what product she used, like, her makeup never lasts. And, like, I have that problem, too, like, it, my skin will just, like, it'll, melt it off. Yeah. So, she, after moisturizing, she puts setting powder on her face. Really? And then puts foundation over. And so, I'm gonna try it. Oh, my God. Yeah. I feel so backwards. Like, does. I don't know. I've been doing my brows so different lately. I don't even know. Like, I haven't been using my pencil anymore. But, like, the. Because I just have the e.l.f. pomade and it hasn't been staying, so I don't know if I should just use the pencil. This powder is so messy. Oh, I have that too. Do you have the translucent one or the other one? Because I think I got the wrong one. Oh, no, I have it. I have, have the one that has translucent. Okay. Yeah. Which I was supposed I probably should have gotten the tinted one because this one is kind of I don't know I feel like it's too white sometimes. But it's so weird because like the actual color of the powder. Yeah, it's not. That's why I was like, oh, white. your look like yours looks like it's not. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure mine wasn't either. But then I'm like, wait, just kidding. Mine, mine is the translucent one. It's not the white. Have you tried the the fit me one? No. You should. It's really it's good. It's good. Mm -hmm. And it's like under $5. It's like the same price. And there's like different colors. So the only thing is, is I found that that one, it doesn't give me flashback, but I found that like it gives you that white cast <coughs> like when you're, like after you wipe it off, like it looks a lot lighter. Yeah. And then, um, and then it started cracking even more like towards the middle. And then oh. on Sunday, I like got out of the shower and I grabbed my towel and I like hit my hand against the wall and it cracked all the way through and I was like, are you serious? And then on Monday, I was helping a lady with the like change machine at work. Yeah. She had like a huge bag of pennies and I was helping her because she like jammed the machine and I like grabbed the bag and I literally heard something drop and I thought it was like 
there's like a hole in the bag or like a penny had dropped or something. Yeah. Nope. She was like, oh my god, your nail fell out. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> but it was like another one that was already cracked. So I was like, oh. I was like, oh, I already have one off, so. Yeah. But. I'm like, oh, dang it, I actually liked them and like wanted to keep them looking nice and stuff. And, but. Where do you go to get yours from? And then there's like the girl with like the glasses who's like skinny. Yeah, I don't like her. She did them this time. She didn't do bad, but she kept making fun of me, and I could tell. No. <laughs> because like, usually most of the time people like pick the nail color just based off those little like painted on like trays that they have. Mm -hmm. But I knew what color I wanted. So like, I, when I was I waited an hour, so I was like up front looking at all the colors. Yeah. And I saw this one, and it was like by the OPI brand. I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah. And um, so I was like, okay, I'm just gonna get this one because it's like it's a good like brand and it's the color that I want so she's like oh pick your color and like I was like no I have this one she's like she like said something to like the lady next to her and like the lady looked at me and they would just both start like laughing and then like when she was doing my nails because like I didn't do like get them done for the longest time because they weren't lifting so I just was like oh it's not like that big of a deal I can go a little longer yeah so they were like super grown out she like said something to the girl as soon as she saw them and I like looked at the girl next to her who was like she looked at my nails and they both like started laughing again and I was like okay like it, you guys make it so obvious right but it's cool it's whatever but yeah I just like didn't want to get like regular nails or like acrylics anymore because like of work like I like yes I'm still a girl but like there's I'm obviously yeah. the only girl on site, and, like, it just gets annoying, like, when all they know how to say is, oh, like, you can't do anything with those nails, I don't know. Yeah. Like, and I, I And, know like, I, I get that at, like, my job, and, like, I'm literally a teller, so it's, like, for you, yeah. like, it's obviously gonna be, like, ten times more. Yeah, and so, like, I just started, like, doing my natural, mm -hmm. like, nails. And then, of course, I just buy new these eyelash extensions so I go in there and they're like whoa like what <laughs> I was like oh stop Never mind. and like I mean this is like week three or four so like they look really, they look full still they look yeah. really good oh thank you like I'm starting to notice like there's some patches where it's like <clears throat> like I, I want there to be another right but like that's because you're used to like yeah walking. like I see them whereas everywhere. like to me it looks like you like literally just got them done Thank you. Makeup, but sometimes I just like, like, why not? Why can't I wear it to work? Mm -hmm. And yeah, like I feel like that's just, like just enough. Like when I have these, like I rarely, rarely wear makeup. Mm -hmm. Cause like I always watch videos. It's like oh, like natural, glowy summer look, and it's like they literally just sat under their eyes, and I'm like. How does your makeup stay the rest of the day? If yeah. Wait, mine won't even stay for five minutes if that was the case. Speaking <laughs> of other YouTubers, oh. have you been keeping up with like Flora Lee and Jeffree Star? I don't <laughs> watch them in the first place. <laughs> I just saw the Laura Lee's like apology yeah i just saw like the memes of it and like the girl there was like a video of like laura lee crying to like synth music <laughs> it was so funny but um i don't know i don't really i'm not that big in i don't know i'm like really weird with like my youtubers and stuff like because i was never like big into youtube anyways mm -hmm. so i don't watch a lot of like those like bigger yeah youtubers like the only like okay there's a few big ones that i watch i like am subscribed to like jacqueline hill and carly bible and stuff but they're like you know when you have like youtubers that's like every single video of theirs you watch yeah like theirs aren't like i don't lean towards theirs but like desi perkins or like daisy marquez like like those are like the youtubers that are bigger yeah that i do actually like take the time and watch like all of their videos yeah but i'm not even i don't even think i'm subscribed to like laura lee and stuff but wasn't it because she like had like old racist tweet tweets uh -huh. like the one that i saw i didn't tweet 
they they like recreated Kylie Jenner's birthday photo of like her like flipping off the camera or whatever. Oh. Mm-hmm. And so he said he woke up and he just like felt annoyed, like he was like irritated with everything. So he posted the picture and he like kind of made it really apparent that they were, he was like talking towards Jeffrey because at that point they had all separated away from him. Mm-hmm. And he um like started getting like notifications like crazy and then Nikita was kind of like hey like um did you mean to post that because it's like really like you're blowing up yeah and like it's clear who you're talking about and so he was like yeah he's like it's fine it's fine well it turned into a really big issue so he felt like he had to apologize to each one of them and then like especially to Jeffrey because he ended up calling him and um, Jeffrey kind of opened up and told him his side of the story, which he had never heard before because, right. like, I mean, he would have been shunned if he would have talked to Jeffrey, you know? Right. So, he said that that opened up everything, and apparently, Manny was out, like, he, like, was totally fine with throwing Gabriel under the bus. Like, he was like, save me, save me, save me, like, I'm a saint. Like, apparently they had this big meeting. And, like, this is all behind the scenes. So this now is he, like a cult. Like, yeah. Like, having meetings. So like, like, yeah. What? Like, and they were like, okay, well, Gabriel, you posted a video, so you're taking the fall for it, but, like, it's totally fine. Like, we'll back you up, blah, blah, blah. And Gabriel was like, okay, like, I get it. Like, I take ownership of that photo. Mm-hmm. But, like, where does the issue stem from? Like, it's not me. I'm not the one with the problem. It's all of you guys. And you're the one who, like, you guys are the people that have been, like, starting this war with him. Right. And so, like, he, like, he went off. And, like, I'm so happy that he uploaded that because, like, I was, like, not sure, like, okay, well, what did Jeffrey do? Like, you know? Right. And, yeah, so I'm seeing some true colors come out. And I am unsubscribed to Laura Lee. I was never subscribed to Manny just because, like, I didn't vibe with his videos that much. But, um, I subscribed to Gabriel. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah, so, yeah, I was just like, whoa, <laughs> that's a lot. And, like, ta- do you know who Tati is? Mm-hmm. She, um, uploaded a video talking about it today. Well, I don't know if she uploaded it today, but I watched it today. Right. And I totally respect the way that she portrayed her message and, like, just everything that she said in there was so real. Just, mm-hmm. like, just about how clicky YouTube is. And, yeah. like, how everything, like, she called someone out but didn't say names. But she was, like, you know, it's annoying because this person goes on their channel and is, like, oh, like, um, I'm the realest person. Like, all of this stuff, like, it's not about the money, blah, blah, blah. And then she's, like, yet in my email, I have an, a message from her manager, and I guess Tati does her stuff all on her own. She doesn't mm-hmm. have a management team or anything. So, um, anyway, this person's manager was like, um, well, we would we would totally like promote your product like on our page and stuff. She's like, but we're gonna have, you're gonna have to pay her to talk about it. And so she was like, that's interesting. No, thank you. <laughs> yeah, and she's like, and. Like, you know how Tati, like, she doesn't do sponsorships very mm-hmm. often unless it's something that, like, you know that she's been using for years. And, um, so, like, I was just like, oh my god, like, and she's such a respectable person, too. Right. Like, she just carries herself so, like, like, classy and respectful, like, a woman should right. carry herself, especially in front of an audience like that. <laughs>
position so I can be sure. Like, I don't know. It looks good. I like the blue on her, I like the bluish purple on her eyes. Oh, thank you. I, I literally never do eyeshadow anymore, so I just did like the most basic look. Because yeah. all my brushes are dirty anyway, so what's new? I have to be so careful with this. I like you can't. I don't bruise easily at all. Mm -hmm. Um, but I dropped my laptop on my eye, <laughs> like the corner of the laptop oh. hit the corner of my eye, and like I was, like my tears forcefully mm -hmm. cried, and my tears, my eyes forcefully cried, and um. It's just, it's so tender and it hurts. Like, right. I feel like I should have a black eye, but, like, it doesn't, it, I've had that, no too, because, like, I don't bruise that easily either. Mm -hmm. Well, obviously, I didn't, like, drop a laptop on my face, <laughs> but, like, I, like, I've had it to be, like, how did I not get a bruise from that? Yeah. Or, like, you know when we, like, we used to do the 8v8 in Elkhorn? Yeah. That one girl kicked me so hard. <laughs> I still remember. Oh my god. It was horrible. I was like, what the hell? And nothing showed. Yeah, I have, there was like one bad soccer boot that I had. Some girl stepped on my foot and I had like three of the like spikes bruised onto my foot for over a month. Oh and it god. was like, not only did it just like show, but it hurt for that entire time too. Like it was so tender. Eyelash. I'm so excited to go to the soccer game. Like, it's just like reminding me of like when we were younger. <laughs> I know. I literally was talking to Jose because obviously Junior's on the team. Mm -hmm. And it, it was like their first game. And I was like, babe, can you believe like this was, or we were like passing the school. And like, they oh, they were drawing the lines for their first game. Oh, okay. Like, can you believe that like you're like, Senior season was four years ago. Like it literally started four years ago this year, and it's like the so. Insane. I know. Obviously, we all have lives now. Yeah. But, because, like, 
Usually we go out Friday through Monday, but Jose has a game Friday and I work. And his game is away. And then he's got practice Saturday morning. So we're literally driving up there Saturday at like after his practice to like after I think he said his practice was at 9 to like 11. So like from noon. And then we have to go be home Sunday because he has a game at 3.30. Oh my God. So like we're literally going up there for like one night. <laughs> but we, it's still going to be fun. He like really wanted to go though because like he didn't get to go on our trip this summer. Oh so. yeah. She told me to literally only start off with like three drops. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, I only gonna start off with two because I don't wanna like start yeah. like getting like sick. She's like, you won't actually be sick, but you'll get those like flu like symptoms and stuff. I was like, yeah. So she was like, I did it one night and I was like just like running all over the place and like like just like getting a headache and so I just squirted a thing on my tongue and like literally squirted like Three, like two thirds of the dropper, and she's like, I started in, but like she has been taking it for so long, so like she's used to oh, taking more, yeah. but like she took more than like what she was used to, and she's like, I started getting those flu-like symptoms, and I was like, I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna do that then. So I don't know if that's like the same with yours, but if it's a lot of like, then I would just say let you know that. Yeah, yeah, yours, yeah, it's like I'll show you. I don't remember how many drops. And then like on headaches, have like those headaches, you can actually like apply it to your whatever. I need, I need water. I need oh, oh god. Oh, they snapchat me and I didn't even reply. <laughs> Where is he at? Uh he was running errands. He's at practice now. Missing at the end, like, what the? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you? <laughs> 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 
makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this little chit chat with us. It was very random and all over the place. But yeah. Yeah, make sure to subscribe to her channel if you haven't already and then click on that link in the description box to go check out the video on my channel. Because it's going to be funny. Oh God, I'm scared. <laughs> it's a challenge just so you guys know. So see you guys hopefully next week. Bye, Phil. <laughs>